Welcome to UGTech YouTube channel. So today in this video I'll be demonstrating and explaining step by step process on how to bypass Google account verification on all Samsung phones running Android 11 and 12 without the knocks. If you're new to this channel please consider subscribing, turn on notification bells, give this video a like and let's dive in. end of this video don't forget to leave your reaction to this video in the comment section below to be brought into this place you want to love me well then baby have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really want to hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we could be okay 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 maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that i've never felt this way i really hope that you as you can see the, the phone has got a lock now let's go ahead and press the volume up and power simultaneously both at once Talk back on. and we Welcome. get this display close. we close this close. then we make an inverted well, l select voice use voice, voice commands and say open google assistant now here we press volume up and power select the keyboard and type in youtube either youtube.com or open youtube it will open up youtube for you okay here we are select the account icon select settings go to about youtube terms of services and we have chrome now in the url let's put uh, vnrom.com to get into this website we need a second samsung phone Make sure it's connected to the internet. This is good. We go to any browser, preferably Chrome. Now let's search for FRP Android 11 stroke 12 bypass is a flashing. Okay, scroll down. You go to Samsung Easy Flashing. Now, in case you find problem accessing this page, I will leave you the download links down below in the video descriptions. Download the apps and put the APKs on your phone. Thereafter, install them on the phone. We download the first one, which is the bus settings. Go back. We also download the package disabler. Let's install the first one. Don't open, just sit down. We install the second one. And same to this, don't open it. Just click done. And we go back to home. Now we need to back up these apps to our samsung account thereafter we shall sign this samsung account onto the phone which has got a frp lock or the google account lock and then we restore these apps onto this very phone or call it the target phone sign in with your samsung account find this video helpful please give it a like click that like button below and subscribe in case you're not subscribed two-step verification and here we are
let's go back we go to backup data at the end of this video don't forget to leave your reaction to this video in the comment section below done go back back again accounts and backup restore data we are not restoring right now we're just confirming that the apps have been backed up as we can see our apps are there we can see the notification bar package disabler pro You can access settings, scroll down to accounts and backup. Let's go to restore data. We need to put the Samsung account. Now we are using the same Samsung account as the one in this phone, this other phone. Sign in. Signed in, we are done signing in. Now we need to go back to restore that again. Tap restore data. Don't update. Please don't update. I repeat, don't update. Please, I repeat at this step, don't press the update. Let's go back to accessibility. interaction and dexterity universal switch we press next we press next 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 click on universal switch shortcut and turn this on and we shall get the accessibility icon down below here as you can see let's go back 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 to restore data hmm, account and backup now here is the trick we are supposed to press the restore data and accessibility icon while pressing the white blank space in order to avoid the update option now we can go ahead and restore apps. Wait for the apps to complete restoration or installation actually. Please take a moment and click the like button for this video and subscribe in case you're not subscribed for more hopeful videos like this. One app is not installed. Let's check which one is that. Don't update the Samsung Cloud. Do not update the Samsung Cloud. Okay, it's an email which is not installed. That's okay. We don't need it. Ignore that. Go back. Press back. 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 And back. Now we need a launcher. For this case, I will use the S9 launcher. You're free to use any other. Install. Install anyway. We are aware of that. Open. Let's open the launcher. Continue. Okay. Here we are. We have the menu. Now let's go to settings first. Then privacy. Permission manager. 
Then we go to files and media. We are looking for package disabler pro. Um, it's not here. Let's show the system apps as well. Please take a moment and click the like button for this video and subscribe in case you're not subscribed for more hopeful videos like this. Okay, here we are. Allow management of all files. Allow. We go back. Back, back, back again. Now we need to turn off the Wi-Fi for a short time. Now open open the open the notification bar. Accessibility. Installed services. We have one installed. Okay, notification bar. Let's turn it on. Allow. Let's go back. We go back. We go back. Turn on notifications, notification access. Back, let's try to swipe. Okay, here we are, we have it. Turn off Wi Fi. Now open the package disabler. Agree. Enable admin. Activate. Now here we need Wi Fi back on. Scroll the notification bar. Turn, turn Wi Fi on. Click this, confirm, retry, retry, oh wait, retry, okay, the Nox, the Nox license validation completed successfully. At the end of this video, don't forget to leave your reaction to this video in the comment section below. So we need to search for the Android setup and the Samsung setup wizard. Yeah, here they are, these two. Select select Android setup and click disable. We need to disable it. Done. Then we go to the Samsung setup wizard. We clear data. We need to clear data for this. Clear it. Press the space. Done. Go back. We select the Samsung setup wizard as the home app. Please wait. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. Click that like button below and subscribe in case you're not subscribed. You have bypassed the Google account verification on uh, Samsung Android 11. If this video has been helpful to you, please leave your reaction in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like and consider subscribing in case you're not subscribed. Until next time, see you.